Hi there. Um, we've had a lot, a lot of people coming on. There's a time of seasons for football and soccer boots, naturally. Football boots is a big, big question at the moment regarding author so and certainly support inside the football boot. So, um, if you put an orthosol insole inside a football boot, yes, of course, this is going to give you a much better fit and more control inside the boot. Okay, but you need the room in the boot. So, first and foremost, uh, whatever soccer boot you prefer, football boot you prefer, naturally, to create room before you put an orthosol insole in, you remove the insole and replace it with the orthosol. We recommend the thin style uh, for the football boots, certainly for the orthosol. Um, to go inside the thinner one, fits inside the boot nice and snug without it sort of, you know, being too tight and rubbing on the toes. So naturally, with orthosol, as you know, regarding the pieces that all come inside the little bag here, the firm, medium and light and a user guide, you can see, all come inside the bag. For endurance and football especially, you know, we do recommend maybe going to the light pieces first. Um, if you're not used to the support and if the arch and metatarsal, maybe try the light to start with and then look to build up from the light onwards. So we know biomechanically that the firm pieces are the best, but if you're not used to supporting this area, maybe start off with the light and look to build it up. So once you've got that in place, you can place it inside the boot, which will be a nice snug fit there, as you can see inside there, which is good. Get the right angle on it, you can see, so it's nice and snug. And the fit is lovely, right inside the boot. So a nice snug fit without it being too, obviously too big, uh, or even too small so you can feed in the ends. Now, if you need to, regarding the orthosol, if the size is a little bit too big, you could always put the, the sock liner that's already in there if you need to put it on, and, and maybe, you know, if it's too big, you can always cut around um, the orthosol to make it fit. So that is also a little tip that footballers have for sure. So yeah, if you want to start off with the light, that's great. If you can, handle the medium or even the firm on the arch and metatarsal piece. This would be the best for you biomechanically. We know that. All the experts will tell you. I spend a lot of time with these guys uh, and they know what works best. So that's the medium one, as you know. Or if you can go to the firm on the arch piece, this would be great. But make sure you use the support and if the arch to start with. All it would do is cause a few blisters, that's all. Uh, maybe some blisters a little bit on the arch. So this is your arch here. It might just cause a little, you know, blister on there, which will heal. Um, but it's the shoe itself, because we know football boots are really tight inside there. Um, the reason why they're tight, basically from the mold's point of view, generally the design of a football boot, is because the closer it is to the skin, the more feel on the ball. It's a pretty obvious statement, isn't it? But that's the case. You know, footballers love a really, really tight boot, which isn't ideal when it comes to, especially when you're breaking in your, your boots, um, but the tighter it is on the skin, the more feel on the ball. That's a, a pretty simple way of explaining it, to be honest. That was told to me, and I agree with it. So from that perspective, yeah, get the orthosol in, and it fits nice and snug inside the shoe. Obviously, the ladies' ones as well uh, have a lot of female football players using off the soil massively because the girls know how to look after the feet more than the men. Simple. You know, they're smart. Sometimes, maybe I'm not. Other guys probably are. So, yeah, it works the same again when it comes to pieces of thin style for the ladies football players. Um, and then metatarsal again when it comes to that support underneath the forefoot area for men's and women's. So, off the soil, the foundation of the body and support. Uh, it's going to help any ankle, okay, when it comes to naturally pronation, as we know. Ankle, shin, knee, hip, back, just in a better position. So you're in a better position for your gain with the orthosol insole inside the boot. And you're in a better position, obviously, to strike the ball and also to help prevent issues. So if you've got an issue, if you've got a condition, um, then naturally, the orthosol is going to help, massive, massive help when it comes to Achilles problems, Achilles tendonitis. We also have the heel lifts, as you know. Uh, if you've got a slight tight Achilles or a tight calf, naturally, we have the heel lifts, which you'll be able to see on our website, and they just fit underneath, nice and snug, inside the football boot. So what would happen here, you've got your football boot here. So you take the 3M tape off like this, 
Okay, just peel that off and then just slot that inside the back of the boot like that. Let me show you what's in there, as you can see. And then from there, the author saw install would go over the top. Make sure it's right back and there's no gap. Yeah, make sure it's right back and there's no gap. And then it just sits on top for those calf problems, Achilles problems. Start, the recommendation from the professionals would be start around about six mil. If you can go up to eight millimeters, then, then great. The thickness of these, they come in small, medium, and large. Actually, the small size is for small footed because they're fitting in the area. And medium, you know, about eights and nines, and then from tens to twelves it was you get the large. But six mil, we start at four millimeter, six millimeter, eight, ten, twelve. Um, but for Achilles and calf problems, if you're finding root problems in that area, and certainly stiffness, then uh, start with a six mil. If you can go to eight, then great. That's generally the professional's recommendations. Um, so yeah, fitting inside the football boot. Let's start with the metatarsal. Okay, metatarsal has become famous because of great footballers breaking their metatarsal. We know that there's metatarsal stress um, in everyday work, let alone in football boots. Okay, so this is a norm. Again, the professionals will tell you. So this metatarsal piece here, which just sits underneath the forefoot area, just sits underneath the forefoot area, taking the stress and the pressure away from the forefoot area. Massive benefits from that with the orthosome. Um, so the metatarsal piece, the major benefits, more stability from the toes, okay? Because if you're supporting this area here at the forefoot area, naturally this is going to give more power and a push off from the forefoot area. And it should give you a slight bit extra pace when pushing off this metatarsal piece which is sitting just underneath there, yeah? Okay, so as you push off, even on the turn, you know, when you've got the ball and you're moving on the turn, this metatarsal piece just sits underneath there. Normally there'll be a gap, and when there's a gap, naturally if a tackle comes on top, then that's where you can cause problems with metatarsal as well. That's a different aspect. But generally, this metatarsal piece should give you a little bit of extra pace, especially on the turn when you press off and you come for sprints and things like that, naturally, as you would expect. Um, and obviously, continued support from this customizable metatarsal pad that we have, you know, it just gives less stress in that area, which is huge. So, you know, things like foot fatigue as well, when you're fatiguing from your feet, other issues can obviously be created. From that, so the metatarsal piece, yet yeah, has become famous metatarsal because of football. But we've got that piece just sits underneath there, inside the boot in the forefoot area, taking that pressure away. So that fits quite nicely inside. And then we know the arch support, okay? Which people are more and more familiar with arch support and the benefits from that. Um, the arch support from the orthosol piece. We'll keep the Achilles tendon uh, in line, protect against Achilles problems. As we said, we talked about the heel lift there as well, which also can sit underneath. You've got real uh, problems and conditions. Like I said, we recommend six millimeter, eight millimeter with Achilles problems to start with. Um, but certainly, we know this customizable arch support is going to benefit uh, and keep the Achilles tendon in line and protect against all Achilles problems. Uh, Rotation from the tibia bone will be controlled, which helps naturally we know against problems from patella, tendonitis, things like that. Um, this tendon itself um, really can be nasty and painful. So certainly the rotation is going to help when it comes to support underneath the arch um, from these issues. There's a lot of people sort of coming online now. We'll get back to you in a minute. Trust me, I will. Um, so I'm just sort of seeing this all come up. In a flash, they're all from around the world. We even got Phil Mercer, blimey, who's um, from Florida, USA. Uh, is that a cleat? Uh, yeah, it is. It's a little bit like a cleat, Phil. It's uh, American footballers use those as well, and also the author summons. Also, yeah, we like them for sure. But just sticking to the arch support, let me just finish off regarding this. Uh, in the worst cases of pronation, we know in the foot at the same time the rotation to the outside of the knee, the ACL. Um, this will be more protected because of less pronation, okay? And that support underneath the arch is massive for that. Very, very important. All the experts will tell you. It's, this is simple logic. I'm just trying to lay it out in layman's terms to everybody, but the experts and professionals will, will tell you very, very similar. This piece here, like I say, will help when it comes to the rotation to the outside of the knee as well. ACL will be more protected because of less pronation. Um, less stress for the metatarsal bones, which we covered with the metatarsal piece, which is great. 
less pressure to the ankles, giving relief to the whole foot, and less pronation is less for plantar fasciitis. So again, footballers suffer massively with plantar fasciitis, and this piece here, we don't want the thickening of the tendon, as we know. Um, again, if you need a little bit of a lift, the heel lift just to sit underneath that, the plantar fasciitis, that'll help huge as well, help loads of people just today along for that. Um, the poron, which is the shock absorption material, which I've been through with you before. Uh, we have all the way through the insole. Um, you can just about probably make it out the black section, which is just on here there. The poron, it goes all the way through the insole itself. Uh, we've got that piece all the way through and another piece into the heel strike here, which is this piece here, as we know. And we know from the shock absorption of the poron, which I've demonstrated to you before. Let's see if I can just quickly demonstrate to you again how the poron works. So shock absorption, here we go. So we can get the old um, golf ball on there. Dive into the magic draw. So here we go. Here we go. Absorb the shock. As you can see, and also in the heel piece, which is in the orthosol, as you can see here, this heel piece here. If I can just drop it on, magic, there you go. Absorb the shock. Not a gimmick, exactly as it works. So that's huge when it comes to, obviously, the areas that we know in the heel area. Heel spurs um, protect against these problems. All heel problems, we benefit with the, obviously, the pore on which you just showed there. And just take some high pressure away from the heel bone and the cartilage itself. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, the orthosol patent gives every user the opportunity to change the support pad easily to what fits and is most comfortable to you. People will ask me all the time, football, so which piece is right for me? If it feels right, it is right, okay? Must feel comfortable, must be supported, but not intrusive. Biomechanically, like I've said to you many times before, the firmest piece is the best, but if you want to drop down to a medium or even a light, because that's most comfortable to you, that's okay. Endurance in football boots, I'd probably recommend you start with the light if you've never had arch support before um, or if you're new to authors. Or start with the light and then build it up to the medium and then the firm as you're going along because just getting used to it. So there's not, just, just so there's no rubbing on the arch itself causing you a blister, which naturally could be uncomfortable. Just figure out the combination yourself. Like I say, it's self customizable. If it feels right, it is right. So that's under the forefoot area underneath the arch inside football boots as we've talked about the last few minutes in any footwear basically that's the author soul solution um, and that's the key so um yeah i have many many of you um call and come online here on the, on the website which is great on facebook so keep them coming keep the questions coming and um, like i say that's just a little bit of a tip a little bit of hint regarding author soul insoles fitting inside your football boots available for men's and women's. Enjoy and have a good season. Hopefully we can prevent as many injuries as possible. And if you've got a slight condition, we can help improve that as well. So good luck.